I've got some songwriting tips to help you write better songs. So you can add these tips into your songwriting process to make your songwriting easier and more effective. Quick songwriting tip today around lyrics. So I reckon it's easier if you come up with your melody first and then put your lyrics in. Not all the time, sometimes you get a banger lyric and you fit that into a melody, so that's absolutely fine. But if you don't have a lyric already to go, you wanna do some songwriting, if you can start off with your chord progression and your vibe, then add a melody and write a lyric to that. So usually what I'll do is when you're kind of writing this melody, you'll be saying something, you know, you'll be kind of just firing out some sort of lyrics. Usually they don't make sense. A lot of the time they're just da da da, do do do's. But every now and again, there's a couple of lines in there that just kind of subconsciously come out. So as you're writing, kind of get your melody sorted out, go back and listen to it and see if there's anything in there that that you liked. There might be a, a word or a phrase or an idea just in your gibberish melody writing lyrics that you found that you like. And you can write a whole song off that or come up with a theme of that and then go back and kind of fill out that theme. I reckon starting with the chorus is great. If you can come up with the where your song actually lands on the chorus and then you can figure out how can your verses and your pre-chorus support that theme that you wrote in the chorus. And the last idea is in your DAW, just try and beat yourself all the time. So what I mean by that is if you write lyrics, they don't have to be bang on first time. So you can write a line that's a bit dodgy, doesn't quite rhyme well, it's okay, it doesn't say exactly what you wanted to say, but it's kind of there. Record that in and then you'll find that you have like three or four lines that you really like and maybe two or three that you could kind of beat. You could better yourself. Just try and beat that one line. How can I say that better? How can I rhyme that word better? And you're just beating yourself. So you might have, by the end of it, your chorus might have like six or seven different takes and one line might have six or seven different versions of that line as you're just trying to beat yourself until you get to the point where you don't have to anymore and you're super happy with that lyric. Um, so that's the way to do it. And again, writing in the computer just makes that easy because you can just go, leave that line, leave that line, re-record that line, leave that line, re-record that line as you're kind of bettering yourself. And this has all come from a theme that you've just kind of subconsciously sang out while you're just freestyling your melody. Or maybe you're, maybe you're just writing from a concept already. So I do that a lot as well. If you've got your, your phone memos, you go, oh, that's a cool lyric idea. And you form that. But most importantly, make sure your melodies are really, really strong and that your lyrics are sitting on that. Don't force a melody out just to get a lyric in. I don't think that that never works. The melody has to be catchy for people to to want to listen to it. I've got a songwriting checklist that you can download and have with you while you write songs. This checklist kind of covers everything that should be in your song, you know, from your melody, your lyrics, your rhythm, those sorts of things, as well as some extra in-depth uh, sort of checkpoints on those things. So does my chorus melody lift? Does my rhythm um, bring tension and release? So as you're writing a song, you can go, yes, I've done that, I've done that. Or I think more helpful is, I haven't got that yet, I'll put that in, I haven't got that yet. So you can kind of get a 30,000 foot view of your song and what it needs to have. This is gonna make your songwriting way easier and at the end of the day, more effective so more people connect with your song. So you can download that for free from the link below. So if you hear this tip, but you do nothing with it, then nothing will change. We're so good at consuming all this information and thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll do that one day and never doing it. So take a step right now and chuck in the comments, what was it about this tip that resonated with you? What was it that clicked? And then more importantly, what are you going to do with it? What's your action from this tip uh, to do with your songwriting? So chuck that in the comments as a first step and then make sure you go out and actually do some songwriting and implement this uh, in the real world as well. If you got any value from this video whatsoever, give it a like for me and do subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more songwriting tips.